You say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Save my soul. Save my soul. From hell. From, from hell. hell. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Save my soul. Save my soul. Transform my life. Transform my life. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Stir my faith. Stir my soul. Give me understanding. Give me understanding. Let your wonders, Let your Let wonders. Your wellness. and your miracles, and your miracles. And miracles. Happen, in happen in my life. Happen in my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Many people can go to hell even though they spend all their years in church. So every day we must remind ourselves that he has to save us from hell. Any opportunity you get, you must seize that opportunity for God to strengthen your salvation. Amen. Because we don't go to church to entertain ourselves. And we don't go to church to, to fulfill some ritual or ceremony or formality. We go to church to encounter him. Am I communicating to somebody at all? We don't go to church because we have position in the church. No. We go to church because we are looking for him. Praise the Lord. The Bible says looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So he is the focus for the gathering. We are looking for him. We want to know him more. We want to know him deeper. If your motivation is different, then you are lost. Praise God. We are going somewhere. We want to get there. So it is not how many years I have, been, I have been going to church. It is how intimate I am with him. That is what matters. I said it is not how many years I have been going to church. It is how intimate I am with him. How much do I love him? Is my love for him growing? Or my love for him is diminishing? Am I talking to somebody at all? So there must be that constant effort to know him more. To get closer to him. To love him more. Don't allow any other thing to be your motivation. He must be your motivation. Amen. Say it again. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Save, my soul. save my soul. Anytime you go to church. Trust God that God. The preacher will say something that will rekindle my desire to get closer to you. Yes. What was said at church that intensified your love for God? Yes. Because there are all kinds of things competing for our attention. Trying to draw us away from God. I pray that the Lord shall open your eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, when the Lord opens your eyes, you see things that others don't see. And you hear what others don't hear. And because of that, your commitment level becomes different. Because you are seeing something different. You are hearing something different. We are all in the same church. But we are not hearing the same things. <laughs> I said, we are all listening to the same preacher. But we are not all hearing the same thing. You are hearing something different. And I am hearing something different. That is why I love him deeply. And that is why you don't love him deeply. That's why you are careless about him. That's why I am serious about him. Because I am hearing something you are not hearing. And I'm seeing something different from the word that you are not seeing. Say, Holy Ghost, uh, open my eyes. Uh. He, said, he said, open my eyes to see wonderful things from your word. There are mysterious things. There are powerful things in the word that people don't see. That's why their Christianity, Ayetra, Ayetra, Ejanim, you are wasting your time. so and power power In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus. Many years ago, the archbishop was preaching in an evening service. Then I heard the voice of God. He was preaching. Then I heard the voice of God. The voice said, go and join the full-time prayer warriors. When you hear the voice of God, it doesn't matter what you lose. You are ready to lose everything to obey the voice. The Bible says that the voice of God is powerful. 
That's what the Bible says. The Bible says that the voice of God is mightier than the sound of many waters. The Bible says that the voice of God breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. It says the voice of God divides the flames of fire. When you hear the voice, your decisions are different. Your moves are different. Your lifestyle is different. When you hear the voice, when you hear the voice, because am I communicating to somebody? When you hear the voice of God, in so a pity, in so a to obiasi on kwa sorry. Nan so wo uba kwa sorry. You are hearing the voice that they are not hearing. May the Lord open your ears to hear a different voice. The voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What are you talking about? I want us to pray some prayer. I don't, I don't want us to pray some prayer. <laughs> I want us to pray some prayer. Before I preach. <laughs> I'm not preaching. What I'm doing, I'm doing comedies. This one is comedies. <laughs> In those days that we have been going to watch video. Yes. Me prepare to go Now you have a chance to cry because you have a chance to hard. Me prepare to go in. Now you have a chance to see me. Now you have a video. Now, before we show a film, no, it will be a friend of comedies, getting razor. It will be comedies. And some real film now, there. Abba. You mean you're a friend of comedies? In Genesis 13, verse 19, you're a bomb pile back up and some are you're eating your mess. I say we will destroy this place because the cry of them has has become very great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord has sent us. To destroy the place. Genesis 19 verse 13. We will destroy this place. Because the cry that is crying against the place is very strong. So God has sent us to destroy the place. Yes. Look. Evil voices can cry against you. Are God himself who sent angels to come and destroy you. I'm telling you. Evil voices. Evil voices. So these are angels speaking. Yes, he said we will destroy the place because there is an outcry that has grown and the cry has come before the Lord and so God has sent us to destroy the place. So when an evil cry increases against a nation, God sends angels to destroy the place. That's what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Evil voices can cry. Evil voices of your father's house. Evil voices of your mother's house. It can cry against you or God will be fed up. God will not defend you again. God will release you into the hand of powers to destroy you you must also cry if negative voices are crying you must also cry to counteract the negative voices there are negative authors that are crying because of what some forefathers and foremothers have done and based on that those negative voices are crying let them not live long let them not prosper because of what their father and their mother have done. Let them not succeed. Let them not give better. Let it not be, be, let it not be well with them. Those voices are crying. Let them not succeed in marriage. Those voices are crying. And they keep crying. They can cry. Yeah, God can fed up. God can get fed up and release you. So angels came to destroy the place. Because the voice has intensified. The voice has intensified. So when, 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 when voices, when blood begins to cry against a whole nation, then God will leave, will leave the nation. Or God will give over the nation to evil powers. Then you see that civil war will break out. Then there's bloodshed. The people are dying rough, rough. But if there are children of God in the place who are crying, Kabe, 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 the voices of the children of God will cancel the negative voice. And mercy will come upon the nation. It doesn't matter what the head of state, the parliamentarians, the ministers are doing. The voice and the cry of the children of God will cancel the negative voice. You are going to pray that every negative voice that is crying against you, that voice is silenced by the blood of the lamp. You want to silence every negative voice. Yes, some voice can cry and your marriage will break. Yes, some voice can cry against your marriage. Uh, confusion will come into your marriage. You don't know what happened. The marriage, there is confusion. You don't know what happened. You have lost the job. You don't know what happened. Your boss doesn't like you again. Because an evil voice is crying. Are you ready to pray right now? Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, say to us. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, 
every negative voice uh, crying against me uh, from the family uh, the family from the office uh, from the office from the workplace from, the workplace, uh, from my village, uh, my village. Right, now, right now every evil voice every evil crying against me crying against me crying against my prosperity crying against my prosperity crying against my spirituality crying against my spirituality crying against my greatness crying against my greatness. crying against my fruitfulness oh lord, oh lord. By the, blood by the blood of Jesus, of Jesus. by the blood, by the blood of, the lamp, of the lamp, I silence, I silence evil voices, evil voices crying against me, crying against me. Right, now, right now as I am praying, I am praying. evil voices, evil voices shut up and aspire by the blood, by the blood of, Jesus. of Jesus, evil voices, evil voices crying, against crying against me, shut up. Shut up. And aspire, and aspire by the blood, by the blood of Jesus. Of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray. Open your mouth. <laughs> Look, you don't know why without any reason your husband is getting angry with you. You don't know why. There is a voice. There is an invisible voice uh, crying into his mind, uh, whispering into his ears. You don't know why, without any reason, your boss doesn't, doesn't like you. There is a persistent voice that is crying negative cry against you. And if nothing is done about it, the voice will prevail. Uh, Say by the blood, by uh, the blood of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus. I counteract. I counteract. <laughs> I counteract uh, negative voices, negative voices speaking against me, speaking against me, crying against me. I counteract them. I counteract them. I counteract them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One day, somebody had a dream about me. He had, and the person kept calling me. He called me. I said, "Why is this person calling me plenty like this?" The person had a dream about me. The dream was that he saw two big snakes biting me from my back. He said the snakes were so huge that they were biting me. And he was crying in the dream. He said, he said, Pastor, the snakes are biting you. Do something about it. He said, I told her, don't mind them. He said, that's what I told her. She said, I told her, don't mind them. And I'm still moving forward. And huge two snakes were biting me from my back. And she said, after the snake had beaten and beaten me, she was waiting that I will fall down and die and nothing happened to me and i told her that don't mind them and i was still moving out strongly so when she told me i told them that these are back two backbiting spirits two backbiting spirits i told her it means two people are backbiting me but god has told me when people backbite you ignore them and remain focused so you cannot backbite me and prevail because I am fulfilling the will of God. Mm. I am doing what God said I should do. He said, feed the sheep. He said, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. That is my assignment. Am I communicating to somebody at all? You, you must enter into some, some realm. That it doesn't matter what the enemy does against you. You shall still prevail. Amen. I said, you shall still prevail. Amen. Don't allow wosomiasis to catch you. Hey. Because of somebody see me who me who me who and the bonibi, 
masum da your boni pin. Don't allow that woso miasis. Na woso na na shaky miasis has got you because obisi misum da ye pin. Na da ye na misum ye no me hunse. Ye the wash your coffin be mum. In this part of the dreams, you shall prevail. Amen. I said, in spite of the dreams, you shall prevail. Amen. Say, oh Lord, arise. Lord, arise. arise. And silence them. And silence, silence them. them. Say, oh Lord, arise. Lord, arise. And silence them. And silence them. Silence them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, by the mercies of the Lord. By, by the mercies of the Lord. I release, I release the voice of mercy. The voice of mercy. I release, I release the voice of acceptance. The voice of acceptance. I release, I release the voice of open doors. The voice of open doors. I release, I release the voice of advantages. The voice of advantages. So speak, to speak on my behalf. On my behalf. To speak, to speak in my favor, in my favor, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Before God will do something for you, there is an action you must take. In Acts chapter 16 verse 30. He said he brought them out and said. What must I do. To be saved. Responsible people that is how they speak. Responsible people. That is how they speak. Is it in your Bible? Acts chapter what? 16 verse 30. He said what must I do. Responsible people are thinking about what they must do. Irresponsible people are thinking about what they can get without doing anything. But responsible people are thinking about what they must do to get what they want. So he said, I want to be saved. But what must I do? With the word must underline. So it is a must for you to do something. It is what? A must for you to do something to get your next level. To get what you are looking for. It is a must. It is a must. Anybody who doesn't want to do anything will follow juju people. Will follow what? Juju people. Because it is only juju people that demands that you do nothing. They will only say, Fawebra, Fawebra, Meyama. Am I communicating to somebody at all? But this man knew that he must do something. He said, what must I do to be saved? Jesus has paid for the price of your salvation. So you don't need to do anything. But there is something you have to do. What did they tell him in verse 31? They said to him that, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you shall be saved in your house. So even that which Jesus has already paid for, you have to do something to get it. What must you do? Believe. Belief is a verb. It's an action. So, Christians who don't want to do anything, they become irresponsible Christians. And somebody will say, Yanko Hamidi wu eko baby. Because, because they don't want, they are not interested in knowledge. They are not interested in the information. They are not interested in what to do. My ba sorry. Or so for a church radia, a dear a banana me for a free moon. I ever ba, I ever bwa me shebre. I ever bwa ma brabo. A babe na me for a free moon. This is what will separate the men from the boys. This is what will separate the women from the girls. We are all going to the same church, but our level of growth is not the same. Am I am I talking to somebody? Some people have gone to church for ten years, but they have nothing to show for it. They are not growing. They are not developing. They are not maturing. We started with some people together. As youth members. As what? Youth members. Yes. We didn't start as apostles. We started as youth members. And we were all going to school with all the other youth members. We're all going to secondary school. We're all going to university together. 
but whilst we're going to school, we're going to university, we were taking God serious. Am I complicated somebody at all? After some years, level must change. I said, level what? Must change. What must I do? You must be interested in what to do. To bring the change. To bring the progress. To take you to another level. Tonight, I'm going to start a topic which I'm, 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 I have entitled, How to Activate the Favor of God Over Your Life. How to what? Activate the favor of God over your life. I will not just come and shout and go. I must put some keys into your hands. By the time this week is over, you have some secret that your colleagues at workplace don't have. You have some keys that your colleague family members don't have. And anytime you know more than somebody, it it, it puts you ahead of the person. It puts you ahead of the person. Activating the favor of God. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 26. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 26. He said, And the child Samuel grew on and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. Samuel, he grew. He was in favor both with the Lord and with what? With men. So we have the favor from God and we have favor from men. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with men. So, which of them do you want? Favor with God or favor with men? Favor with men is powerful, but it is limited. It is limited. It has expiry date. Am I communicating to somebody? When your party leave power, you lose that favor. Am I communicating at all? When they dismiss your boss, you lose that favor. Yes. But favor of God, it doesn't matter who is in power. It doesn't matter who is in the presidential palace. It doesn't matter who is in the jubilee house. The favor of God is transgenerational. It's transgovernmental. Is transnational. The favor of God has no expiry date. It's not determined by who is in power. It doesn't matter who goes and who comes. The favor of God will cause you to flourish. It will cause you to flourish. It will cause you to flourish. It will cause you to flourish. flourish. That is the favor you want. That's the favor you need. It doesn't matter who is increasing fuel prices. It doesn't matter. I said, it doesn't matter. When the favor of God is upon your life, you will flourish. It doesn't matter whether there is COVID or there is no COVID. When you carry the favor of God, you will flourish. Amen. So you need the favor of man, but you also need the higher one called the favor of God. You must activate that one. I said you must what? Activate that one. So when you, when you please your boss and you please your presidential candidate and you win power, he will give you position. Amen. So God too, there is something you must do to stir the favor of God over your life. Amen. And there are a number of things. I will share one or two with you. Then tomorrow we will continue. What is favor? What is favor? You see? Am I talking to somebody at all? Yes. A your pure favor, a your pure favor. One could you two be a nineteen? One could you two be a nineteen? Nami favor, and a ban or so. A dear favor. No favor is the invisible garment of God that comes upon a person that causes him to receive preferential and special treatment. Favor, it is what an invisible garment that comes. Upon a person, a bow so a ya tariabia yen fa yen yu, a bow so a ma ya treat you with preference and specialty. 
I then onukwa na onukwa na onukwa na oye young girl will be shan. I then obi a pen asem. I then obi go check his secret. No favor be a one so favor be a one so. Amen. You see, be be a secret. Be be a then a secret. Ben no kakra. Then steady no kakra. We be hunt the secret. Now we show the abo ubra. Now the anyam peja. Now the anyam koso. Amen. You need favor in the spiritual realm. You need favor in the secular realm. You need favor in the corporate realm. You need favor in the family. We bomb pie mouth, sir. Sir, 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 wiki will send back our favor. Yes, you tell me. Mr. Sir, wiki will send back our favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Cassa Radie to me, Piara. Ah, yes, man. Sir, on the mini, me favor. Cassa Radie, so soon, Piara. Ah, yes, man. Sir, on the mini. Me favor, me bonus you was a say, me bonus you was a say, I'm a yes, whatever. Say in the name of Jesus Christ, sir. Say in the name of Jesus Christ, sir. Every negative altar, every evil altar, bringing this favor against my life, a radio. Sa alta no, e jantom se se ya, nan se, e jantom se se ya, nan se, e jantom se se ya, nan se, e wo yes, o dama, kase radi, tu mi biara, a we chalai, kase tu mi biara, a we chalai, Say I will not cross. Say I will not cross. Ready? Say to me no. And break his say. And break his say. And what? Yes, with him. I break the limit over your life. I break the limit over your life. I break the limit over your life. Every confinement over your life is broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. Hallelujah. Favor. It makes you to be treated with specialty. Amen. Favor gives you acceptance. Favor gives you the advantage. Favor gives you the edge over others. I bet me a said we all started at the same time. And so favor and the Ubaquin as ye be. Obin Tias ye. Yen yina ye ye school the same year. Yen yina ye ye jumem the same year. Nanso favor at the Bible coining, see a Hallelujah. And yet, by force, say we should all end at the same level because what I do is not what you do. I say, What I do is not what you do. Amen. Whilst I am engaging God, you do what are you engaging? Why should you go to church for 10 years and there's nothing to show in your life? No, it's not good, it's not acceptable. Ask yourself questions. Ask yourself questions. Yes, there must be progress. There must be improvement. God cannot lie. Let God be true. That's what the Bible says. Let God be true and every man be a liar. God cannot be true. Why should I be serving God and my life is not progressing? There are secrets when you serve God that are unfolded to you. That will facilitate your life. That will upgrade your life. That will enhance your life. That will fast track your life. There are secrets. When you serve God and you decide to disregard the secret, you will not only be stagnant, you will deteriorate. Am I talking something here? I said when you serve God and you disregard the principles and the secret, you will not only be stagnant, you will deteriorate. But your life must not deteriorate. 
your family must see your life your family members must see you your classmates your age mate your colleagues your contemporaries must see your life the people in the same compound house with you the people in the same community with you hey they must see your life your cousins your cousins your aunties and your uncles they must see your life and they must realize there is something different about your life there is something different about your life they are doing everything but nothing is happening but as for you your glory keeps on multiplying your greatness keeps on multiplying your beauty keeps on multiplying they are getting money but nothing is showing but as for you when they look at you they envy you you are enviable I pray for you today that that favor shall come upon your life I pray for you today that grace shall come upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ when people envy you don't be disturbed when they don't envy you that is when you must be disturbed can i say it again when people don't envy you it means you are nothing yes at the workplace nobody envy you in the compound house nobody envy. it means we are nothing that means are are you understand what i'm saying Omo who say a tarie strong kumbi e shaw. Omo who say enyo nyambi aba woso. Omo who say nyami e babi pijaw. Na omo she say na wabrabo e kika kona. A year by this time. A year by this time. Omo ni msa ube koi jamo. Omo ni msa ube koi jamo. Eni tina omo ni bre wono. Mi bompa ye ma ho. E wo yesu di mo. That favor. That grace. That wisdom. Is coming upon your life. Receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. God has given me the ministry of impartation. So when I minister, I transfer things. Am I talking to somebody at all? I transfer things. There are two major ways by which we transfer the things. By the spoken word and by the laying on of hands. Two major ways. Amen. So I will be laying hands on you. So that the grace God has given to me will work for you. And as I am speaking the word, things are being imparted. Am I talking to somebody at all? So your life must improve. Amen. Something on your inside, we call it anointing. We call it what? Anointing. We call it unction. It is sleeping like zoning. But this week, a ben nani, a ja, a ja, a bas, yeah. Me say, a ben nani, your greatness shall manifest. Ah, your destiny shall manifest. Your future shall manifest. In the name of Jesus Christ. This week, and some be a babble so. In Sabi, ah, ye tremor and ye ye. Missy, ye tremor and ye ye. Sa and sano and sano, san sano, a babble so. Wuni ye ebesesa, wana mutu ebesesa, misi ebesesa, ebesesa. Receive that hand over your life. Receive that hand over your life. Say, oh Lord, let your hand come upon my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you this week, and I pray for you tonight. That unquestionable oil, unquestionable oil. Evidential grace, uh, evidential glory uh, and beauty uh, shall come upon your life. Uh, it will decorate your life, uh, it will magnify your life. Uh, I release it over you now uh, by the Spirit of the Lord. Uh, I release it over you now uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. Share into many brewa. That means a bibi. Dimension. 
Aye de Casa will kiss the yes, oh, Sakata so upon it all. A junk Thomas is here. A junk Thomas is here. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Malado Sata. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. I want to show you one secret of stirring the favor. Because of time. I want to be brief then tomorrow. We continue. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. One secret of stirring the favor. In Esther chapter 8. Okay, let's read Esther chapter 4, verse 16. Esther chapter 4, verse 16. Activating the favor. Esther said to the people, Go and gather all the Jews that are present in Shusha and fast for me. Don't eat or drink for three days, day or night. I also and my maidens will fast likewise. And so I will go unto the king which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they fasted. They fasted. You have to learn to fast and pray. Amen. You must learn to fast. It's very important. There are times when it's public holidays or you, you, have, you, you, you have free periods, you have free days. Go and hide yours somewhere. Don't eat, don't drink water. Just be singing worship. Just be praying in tongues and just be fellowshipping with God. It will stir some things for you. Amen. Yes, everybody and the grace that he has to fast. Some people can fast from today, this morning, up to the following morning before they break. Some people, they can only fast up to 6 p.m. before they break. Some people, because of their age, they can fast up to maybe 12 or 2 before they break. Whatever it is, make sure consistently you are fasting. Every week, you set a day aside to fast. Or every month, you set a day aside to fast. According to the grace and the strength that God has given to you. Amen. Hallelujah. So after they fasted, they fasted. Danger was coming. The whole nation of Israel was about to be wiped out. They did something. They did what? They did something. Nothing happens by itself. Something has to be done. They fasted. They did not just talk. They fasted and they prayed. And listen to what happened. Esther chapter 5. Verse 2. Esther chapter 5 verse 2. And it was so. When the king saw Esther, is it on the screen? When the king saw Esther, the queen standing in the court, that she obtained favor in his sight. Number one, Esther was not supposed to go to the king without the king inviting her. When she does that, they will slaughter her. They will cut off her head. Amen. So that's why she said, if I perish, I perish. So they fasted to stimulate some celestial forces to stimulate some heavenly powers to stimulate some superhuman supernatural forces on their behalf and so when the king saw esther standing in the court she obtained favor in his sight the favor came after they have fasted and prayed amen because there are spirits called spirits of disfavor Yes, Catas <laughs> Nieme bi e brekia ma usese ya. Mese nieme bi e brekia ma usese ya. I prophesy as the Lord has just told me right now. All your years that have been wasted. All your years that have been wasted. God is packaging all. And multiplying your acceleration. It's multiplying your acceleration. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 
I hear overtake. 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 Your acceleration shall multiply three times. Your acceleration shall multiply seven times. Overtake. 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 Receive that grace over your life. Receive that grace over your life. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy some superiors will get angry but it doesn't matter i said some superiors will get angry some colleagues will get angry it doesn't matter the realm of the battle has changed i said the realm of the battle has changed we are taking the battle to a higher level it is beyond them i said it is beyond them they cannot sit on you again they cannot control you again i break their controls by the spirit of the lord i break their control in the name of jesus i declare any power sitting on your rising they are unseated they are unseated receive it now receive it now in the name of jesus christ sit down She obtained favor in his sight. And then he held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. He held it out. He held it out. He held it out. After the fasting, favor came. And the king held out some things. After tonight, after tonight, people of influence, people that matter, People of authority, people who call the shots, uh, they will not withhold the things from you again. Uh, they will hold it out to you. Uh, they will stretch it out to you. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, hey, I said they have been sitting on the thing for long. Uh, I said they will release it. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> one day, one day. Look, the bishop took me to Amanfrom. <laughs> Then a lady came to me and said she had been supplying medical apparatus to some hospitals. And they are owning her. They were, not, they were not paying her. Then she came to me to pray for her. And as I prayed for her, the Holy Ghost showed me something. I saw PVs. You know, those of who have worked in uh, offices, they, I saw PVs. You know, before they write check for you, they write something we call PV. That PV has to be approved before the check will be written, before your money will be given to you. And I saw in the realm of the spirit that some powers have covered the PVs that was written. And so her PV was covered, so they were not releasing her money. It was on a Sunday, and I prayed and I removed the covering. I was in a man's room and I commanded the thing, and the thing was in Accra. In the spirit realm, there is no distance. And I commanded the covering over the PVs to be released. And I said, I said they should give her money to her. I said it. I did it in the church auditorium after church. Monday, the accountant called her and said, "Come for your money. We are writing your check for you." Am I talking to somebody? Invisible powers. Invisible powers. Invisible powers. Any invisible power. To me, be I am for your new. Ah, Eddie Wunya. Ah, Eddie Wunya. Ah, Eddie Wudema. Satumenu e breki se se ya, e breki se se ya, e breki se se ya, e breki se se ya. E wa ye so deba. Adi biara wa kuma daso, adi biara weni daso, adi biara e ya uchefa. Ah, amati naso se se ya, ya sanema wo, ya sanema wo, ya jima wo, ya jima wo, ya jima. Se se ya, 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 se se ya. In the name of Jesus Christ, shout fire, shout fire. In verse twenty nine, he held it out. Unko jibion ye di be brown. Me say ye di be brown. O bet na o baby na ye di abra o boko. Enya o na o be pre o se o kochi. Me say ye di eden ye di be brown. That was Jesu demon. The golden scepter. And Esther drew near and touched the top of it. Yes. 
The king stretched golden scepter. Not ordinary, oh, golden. Not what? Ordinary. Who fasting now, bumpire? And the favor back. Now, favor and back. Golden things. Nema a sumbo. What you say? Nema no boy a dick. Things that are treasured. And then a case of one in penny in four. A cuckoo down four. A tea through four. At the bem mouth. Miss Omo de Bedden. Omo de Bemba. And the Bible said. Esther stretched forth her hand and touched it. He didn't touch it. He just touched the top of it. You are going to touch some things. You start touching some things. What touch it? I see an ache. You see, what touch it? I see an ache. Where did he I see an ache? Esther, a touch it top. No, fifty and nine echo. Who's who be touch it top? Me say who be touch it top? I will eat you many more. I will abrab more. I will seek a sin more. I will awoo more. I will awari more. Me say who so who be touch it top? Me say who be touch it top? Receive an elevation. Receive a lift and a raise in the name of Jesus. Your friend, I'm on my top now. Who so you be put in? Me say who so you be put in? Who so you be put in? Receive it in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Now, I'm, I'm going to do a little impartation. Let's read Acts chapter 10, verse 44. Acts chapter 10, verse 44. You need to operate with knowledge. Amen. You need to what? Operate with what? Knowledge. Acts chapter 10, verse 44. What did he say? While Peter was speaking this way, he was preaching to them, he was teaching them the way. Why Mara Peter e kanya mia semono? So some concrono e to talk omu nina omuso omu omu ti a semono. The Holy Ghost fell on them. That is one major way of what impartation. Whilst we are speaking the word, the Holy Ghost begin to fall on people and begin to set people free and begin to lose people. Amen. Yes. Power is power. Whether people fall down or they don't fall down. Am I talking, am, am I talking to somebody at all? The Holy Ghost fell on the people whilst he was speaking the word. So mighty things have happened in your life already. I said mighty things have happened in your life. So if I leave you like this and I go, you are delivered. You are favored. You are lifted. You are healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then number two, Acts chapter 19 verse 6. He met some believers. Acts chapter 19, verse 6. He met some believers. 19 verses. Paul the apostle met some believers. He was asking them, Did you receive the Holy Ghost? Do you have the Holy Ghost? They were, they were just telling him stories. And the Bible said, When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Ghost came upon them. And they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Hallelujah. So when he laid hands on them, what came upon them? The Holy Ghost came upon them. When Peter spoke the, the word, Holy Ghost fell upon them. When Paul laid hands on them, the Holy Ghost came upon them. Two powerful channels. I will lay hands on you. Amen. I have spoken the word. The Holy Ghost has fallen upon you. I will lay hands on you. The Holy Ghost will come upon you. There will be a change. I said, there will be a change. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready? Are you ready at all? I said, are you ready at all? You see, I have met him before coming. So I didn't come here as an empty bottle, uh, a, a empty barrel. I came here as a loaded vessel to come and do impartation into people's life. Am I talking to somebody at all? Now, when you take firewood, there is one firewood that rain has beaten that firewood. If you set matches on it, it will be difficult for the firewood to pick. Meboa. Meboa. There is another firewood that has crazy on it. When you set matches on it, it will pick. But there is another firewood that has petrol on it. When you put matches, it will pick very fast, dangerous. I want you to be the one that has petrol on it. Am I communicating at all? Don't be the one that has water, just water on it. No, I want you to be the kind that has petrol on it. That when I release the fire, you will pick it. And mighty things will happen in your life. Rise to your feet as I do the second part of the impartation.